Hello, Dana. It's Yenta. How's my little fawn of gazelle? You've just been prancing through the week? Oh, no, I... So your bladder's not working, your throat's not working, your brain's not working half the time. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry. You having problems urinating and having trouble swallowing, choking on your spit and things like that. Oh my god. That has to be very troubling and upsetting. Have you heard from your mother or your father? Yes, I'm talking about, you know, your abuela. I mean, not your grandmother, but have you heard from her? No need. My little turnip. No need. Oh, no. I saw her in her glory, too. There she is, as proud as she could be. Your mother, standing there with women that tried to murder you and women that don't have busted out teeth. I'm not working with her anymore, no. I'm very upset with your mother. <sighs> well, you know I am Jewish, so I'm working for your fathers. But your fathers haven't picked the greatest. Yes, I mean, I've tried. But what they've picked, oh, Lord. Lord, yeah. I don't know. You need your mother. Why can't you have a mother? You obviously are sick, falling apart. What happens if something bad happens to you? Who's gonna help you? You know, your mom taking pictures with your bullies with the perfect teeth and the not disabled bullies, the one that look like supermodels. That mom's gonna come help you if you choke to death or can't pee on you. Can't pee and make your blood move. I'm, I'm furious. My mom. I'm so glad the Messiah hasn't come back just yet. There's some things he would not want to see. Anyhow, so tell me, those lovely men that your fathers had endeared to you. Can you tell me how they're doing? Since you are struggling in the bathroom, having a hard time making the water from your bladder, having a hard time choking and swallowing, you know, your stomach hurts, your head hurts, you're having the seizures, you're obviously, excuse me, Miss Stroke, you're obviously struggling. And it doesn't look like you. Your fathers have picked out very compassionate men, because it looks like, oh, really? Oh, well, that is unfortunate. So, you know, Ryan Adams, he was all about not having his picture made with women. You know, Brad Pitt was having pictures made with women. He gave him a hard time, all these other men, but then he's caught flirting on camera with women. Dana, my little sunshine, don't look back, toss it, no, he's sick, what did that woman look like, a supermodel, tall, thin, her legs work, her legs worked, right, her bladder worked, she, she's not gonna choke in the middle of the night, I'm sure she wouldn't, him, knowing how you feel about him, Lord God, I have curses, Jewish curses, you know. They, 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 they come up like this. I don't know why any female would hurt you. They have to have the stinking gall because they know they're upset in you, love. So I have curses for them. May their legs twine like creeping figs. The twinkle twatter pitter patter. May their husband give them the clamp on the wedding night. 
or multiple venereal diseases. And for the men, oh, for Ryan, hmm. may this dead grandmother come up from the afterlife and show him that he is a spoiled little goat and rub his nose in his shameful feces. Brad Pitt, oh, Lord, shall I start with him? I'd like to bury his head in like an onion. See how he thinks like that. Yes, uh, oh, he's been out with the a uh, Hispanic lady. Dana, who do you think she is? You think he just met her for coffee? No, he hired her. She's an actress. Probably called it, you know, the union you're not allowed to work for. The actors union. He probably called the actors union and got him a Hispanic lady to take walks with. You know, he was so nice. But, you know, you got a bunch of foots. Why did your fathers pick a bunch of of unqualified men. Now the the Sam the Sam guy the Sam guy better be a monk. Cause we can, Dana, can you still tell me? Do you know for a fact who did the? To you? Have they told you for a fact? Cause I don't want you anywhere near there. Here you are, sick and suffering, saving yourself, not just spiritually sexually for someone and they have the audacity to flirt with women in front of you lord you know i'm from brooklyn i do have friends in the meat packing district and they um well we don't like the word mob we just call them you know i say billy i have a problem and then I, I, meet, I meet, take all of his daughters and they meet wonderful men. Because Billy doesn't have any wonderful men around him. What else? So, I'm just very confused. Well, so let's, 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 let's back back. Well, some of the promises. So, so, Lollipop Festival in July for all the superheroes. Are all these superheroes ones that can pee on their own? And can swallow? You get to go to Lollipop, to Pop Pop Fest? They promised you that? Oh, I can't wait. In July, Spielberg promised you that with all the superheroes. Oh, I hope it happens. You know, just cause you're sick doesn't mean you don't need love. And you know what, darling? If you're sick, you actually need good love. Real authentic love, not cheap assholes that can be paid to harm you or say hey i'll harm her it's a film lasting impressions take a picture and move on i don't care if it's your mother or a guy that promised you the world that he was concrete or would never ever and would wait forever he's a liar so what i want you to do is give me some goals don't cry, Dana. Don't cry. Stop crying. You got upset the other day and it, you think it upset your bladder, crying over the guy. Oh, I'm sure. Your, your biggest nightmare is seeing him flirt and then he's flirting. Well, you're just going to have to move on. I think your dead father and I agree. You can just move on. So here we go. What are some goals for this week? You want to go to the Highland Games? Okay, good. You'd like to go to a baseball game this month? Okay, if you're not in the hospital and you're not half fallen over, I think you need to have a little joy in your life. Go out and have a dinner. You know? Right now, I, I don't trust anyone your father sends your way. And I haven't heard from your mother. And I doubt I trust your mother. And you need a good mama. Don't cry. Stop crying, Dana. Betrayal's betrayal. The Jews have been betrayed all their lives. Let me remind you of the Holocaust. That does not mean you should suffer or allow to be suffering. But I'm just saying I'm not surprised you're Jewish, right? 
your heart's broken. Your mother's out there with all these white, healthy supermodels that have harmed you. And you thought she was some civil rights hero. I know, don't stop crying, Dan. Stop crying. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure you do something fun this week that isn't a hospital visit and a doctor's visit. You do one thing fun, and I'm going to make sure nobody touches you. Because if they do, I send Billy from the Meat Packers District, and then I get his little aunt, a really nice man, from down in Chicago, wherever you know, you know he's a, you know, an OBGYN. I send Billy. Don't let anyone touch you inappropriate. You shut the door. Yet Bob told me to tell you. No one comes into your apartment. Okay. You don't sleep anywhere but here. Okay. No. I mean it. The snake's out there. If you do one fun thing this week and then you, you make sure that you're treated with respect to Mama Yenta, a Billy from the meatpacking district's coming because you're sick, darling. For, okay, let's, let's just think forward. Let's think of something hopeful. Tell me, my love, since we're picturing your wedding in the future, tell me about your quinceañera. How was your quinceañera, then? You didn't have a quinceañera? Lord. Okay, okay. All right. How about your bat mitzvah? How was that? How beautiful was it? Oh, you didn't have a bat mitzvah. Lord, how many surgeries have you had? Oh, Lord. Let's just say, when you get married, I'm gonna dance and dance and the hoopah's gonna shake and we're gonna break all the plates because you deserve my queen, my sweet little one for something special. So just turn your head and keep walking. I love you. Good Shabbat. I'll be in touch.